Yo, what is up guys? We're here, Bucks Franchise episode 23, and you probably saw the last video, or the last two videos, there's a little bit of confusion in them, or episode 21 at least, and episode 20 had a bit of confusion, but we're all figured out now. Episode 22 went out fine, episode 23 is right now, so let's get into it. Last week, last episode, you saw us beat the, the uh, Redskins, so now we got two games this week, and the bye week. Whereas we'll probably do some contract signs for the end of the video. Uh, week two against the Panthers. Week three against Patriots. So I don't know how good the Patriots still are. Pretty sure the Panthers are probably still good. Let's advance the week. Um, see if we won any rewards or any of that nonsense. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, we do get some weekly rewards. What do we have? NFC Defensive Player of the Week going to Quan Alexander. So I just remembered that you could go with development trait. Win defense player of the week, so does Quan go up a development tree for that? Not by the looks of it. Uh, but he did get a lot of stuff. Holy crap. And a lot of XP, legacy, confidence. I don't have a lot there. So that's good. So, let's get to the game, get to the training, all that nonsense. And yeah, these guys want to see who we do got to sign in the, and in the bye week. Uh, Vita Vey does need a contract signing. We'll probably get him locked up. But I think this is going to be our final season because I think we're going to win the Super Bowl this year. So, we'll, we'll sign him, though. And um, Carlton Davis, probably not. He's 24, though. And I'm probably going to ignore him, though. He only an 80 overall. Not really developing so well. Uh, punter, really good kick power, really good accuracy. Probably going to have to get him unless he's a really good one in the draft. Rodgers is going to regress a lot, so we're not going to sign him. And, yeah, that's where we're at. I know I was ignoring Gerald McCoy. That's because he's 30 freaking 3. He hasn't really regressed that much, but he's 30 freaking 3. So, can't really sign him until I see how much he regresses. It's a cheap deal, though. I like it. So, maybe we'll sign him, but I want to see his regression first. In case you are wondering, yes, I do edit uniforms every week and change it to Color Rush because Color Rush is cool. Second and eight. McCall running up the middle as Metcalf is. Make some jukes. Third down early to start the game here. It's gonna be a pass play. We got a locked up. We got a pick with Quan Alexander to start the game with a pick six. Oh, right down the middle on a slam play. DJ Moore breaking tackles left and right. Wow. The third down. Early third down. Oh, we're right down the middle of the field. Not going to get anything. Merrill Bogle preventing a juke. And a first down. Hope they, can't. they might miss this kick. See what happens. Like I said, heavy winds. At least 10 miles an hour on each side. And the kick is wide! Big third down here. And we're only rushing four. I'm going to keep five blockers. I'm only rushing three. We got Veltong down the middle of the field, trying to dive for it, just overthrown. Oh, I took the wrong gap. Big game. Okay, action on second and nine here. We got the middle of the field covered up. Looking for the deep bomb is Cam to Devin Funches. And we're gonna get the SWAT. Third and nine here. Right down the middle of the field. Or down the... F I don't know. Team I know with the pick. That's what matters. See, it looked like at first he was throwing it down the middle of the field. All right. And then he threw it to the fly route. And Tavon only read it beautifully. So now we got a fresh set of downs here. Oh, we got Chris Goblin right away. Get to the outside. Look at him go. Turn on the Jets. Woohoo. Trying to hit my guy Lawrence Preston here. Out of ball, stayed on third and ten. We are going to get him. Does he hang on, though? No, he can't. Another third down for the Panthers. They're getting third downs early and often. Oh, we got the stuffed. Oh, nice out route by DJ Moore. Play action. Coming down deep is Cam Newton. Oh, he's going to scramble. We got to go for the hit stick. Oh, go for the strip. 
Come on! Someone make it fumble! And a five, this could be a run, so I gotta be aware if it is. Be anything right now. Third and five is a good time to call any play. Play action right down the middle. Oh my god! I thought I had, a, had no time of possession. You literally had one drive. Panthers have taken the entire first half. It's ridiculous. Second down, they'll run up the gut again, and we're stuffing it. Third and goal. They're going with one more run, and Quan pushing through Saragusa and stuffing him. What? So it's 10-7. I decided to just sim it. Because I didn't want to watch a kick at the one-yard line. They, I guess they did a fake field goal. Oh, we got RB. That's overthrown. God damn it. Yep. They did a fake field goal. Runs this game. Um, don't really know what else to say about it. Put bow on a streak. Nah. Put bow on a wheel. Can't put bow on a wheel. Third down here. Oh, I don't got anyone, dude. Block for me! Jeffrey Ernster with the first down! We got a nice two minute drill. First and ten. Oh, we got OJ Howard. Or Mendoza. Are you kidding? Mendoza better not be turning into the next Mike Evans. If he's if he drops another one like that, oh I'm gonna be mad. Nonetheless, though, fresh set of downs here. Chris Godwin on the comeback. I could always rely on that comeback route by Chris Godwin. We are gonna get blitzed. They are sending five guys. Let's see what we can do here. Going for that home run ball. Harmon Veltum deep catches it, gets through the safety, and it's a touchdown. I would like to get a sack, but I'd rather just prevent a touchdown and limit them to a field goal. So, let's see what we can do here on third down. We're gonna throw it to the dump off and play the sidelines. Saving a timeout for us. Start of the second half, first and ten. Oh, we got X wide open. Ryan Mendoza trying to spin, but he can't spin. Third and three. Start the third quarter. We got X. Mendoza again. Always catching him. Except for the one earlier. We're going with no huddle action. As, uh... Oh, wow, it's not a good formation. Just call it one play. Maybe Massey could make something out of it. Nope. Maybe not. And run it on third and inches here. You're, you're kidding me, right? Are you fucking kidding me? Play on third down. That was fucking stupid. The fucking fumble just now was stupid. On the kickoff. The game is just stupid. Not, it's just pissing me off. Lately. So now I gotta try and counter it. With blitzing! Olivier Vernon. Second sack of the day. Third and 16, Cam Newton scrambling around, got no one, as Olivier Vernon getting his third sack of the day, fifth on the year. Second and nine here. Oh, we got Veltung deep. Oh, that's a perfect go by Jeffrey Hoonster. Oh my god. Sleep on the Streak Demon, that's his new nickname, the Streak Demon. I'm gonna put Mendoza on a streak. Let's see, we got open. maybe I can get it real quick. I'm gonna lob it up. Mendoza. Really? You're gonna get a one-handed pick? Eric Rose gonna get a one-handed pick. Really? Like, you're telling me bum-ass Eric Rowe is gonna get a fucking one-handed pick on a 90 overall, 24-year-old. Why is, why is Ray Weathers running like he's taking a shit? we 22, we have a chance at a safety. So, I'm gonna take those chances. Fullback dive, and you're just gonna run to the house, isn't it? Thank you. This defense is pretty annoying. Oh, it's pretty simple though. Second and ten. We got X. Now, what kind of throw was that? He's doing an out cut. Throw it to the outside. Third and ten. Sniper him. Eric Rome. He's fucking Commando Pro. And there's another sack. Fucking Panthers want to fucking get bullshit picks on me. This is their punishment. And yeah, we're going to keep blitzing until they decide to put an extra blocker on the fucking field. Why would I not? 
No extra block, it looks like I'm blitzing. I'm only gonna have five guys, and I'm blitzing six, so it only makes sense. Give me that fucking pick. Get up, get up, stay up, stay up. Thank you, Meryl Bull will take it to the house. Blitz all night. All right, great game by the defense, terrible game by the offense. Well, actually, not even terrible game by the offense. It was a good game by the offense. I just didn't have enough time in possession. 27-10, final score. I mean, if you take a look at the stats here, like, I, I had 20 total passes. I had, like, 20 total plays. Like, jeez. 138 yards on a touchdown. Rushing, only had 11 rushes. Couldn't really get anything going. Well, I mean, look at this. Fuck. Look at all these sacks. Eight sacks total, four and a half for no spends, three from Lugay Vernon, four picks, two one one. But I mean, if I can show you time possession, please tell me they have a time possession page. Possession time. Look at this. Look at the difference. Fucking Panthers milked out the entire game. I had no time possession. So based on the time that we had, I think we did pretty good. Bunch of skill points from a bunch of players. Tavon Powell will be up first. Go to that job. Keep him at the scheme fit. Going up to an 85. Plus one lead block. Plus one pass block. Looking pretty good there. Jeffrey Ernster. Finally getting one. I guess we're going to West Coast. Try and keep the scheme fit. Doesn't go well at all. Alright, those upgrades are fun. How does he not go up in overall? How do you not get a skill dev increase? Like, I just don't get it. Trayvon Ross. Let's go to speed rusher. Ooh, look at all those upgrades. Ooh, plus four power move on speed rusher. Plus four power move on speed rusher. Okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, okay. Bo Scarborough getting one. Keep that into utility. Let's see what he gets here. Plus three impact block and plus one run block. I like it. So now we have 60 run block. Draft class. We got Logan Christensen, quarterback, project number one overall. Who's terrible. Uh, we'll just work our way down the class, I guess. Nah, actually, we don't need we don't need offensive line. So we don't have to scout that. I don't think we need D-line. Although we could look at this guy, Frank Cobbs. Because we could just make him D-tackle. And he looks really good. So we'll throw him on there. Um, Mike Stanley. Let's see what he's got. A minus throw power. That's pretty good. Um, anyone else I want to look at here? Got power rushers. These guys, man to man corners. I think the only concern that our team would need is a tight end. And by the looks of it, there's no tight ends in the first round. So that's not good. Where's the first tight end? Not even... The first tight end's 59. I don't even get a tight end class. But, I mean, just looking at the positions here, we've got a couple good quarterbacks, a couple good running backs. This might be a running back draft class. These receivers are okay. Uh, O-line seems to be pretty solid. This seems like a really good O-line draft. Defensive line is not the best. Linebackers are okay. Corners are okay. So this is really just a trenches draft. So if you need trenches, now's the time to draft trenches. But I don't think we need them. It's because look at the O line right there. Look at look at everyone's rank. We got four P we got four O linemen under rookie contract right now, so I think we're okay. Alright, after training, we got some skill points. Ryan Mendoza up first. Keep him in the scheme fit. Bring him up to a 91. Look at all those upgrades. Did we get a plus one speed? No, sir. But a lot of upgrades there. So, you know, has 98 short route running. Holy fuck. Chris Godwin getting one. Ah, keep him in the scheme fit too. Why not? Going up to an 89 overall. Getting all those upgrades as well. It's pretty much the same upgrades that uh, Mendoza just got. Looking really good there. Montre Hale. Uh, we'll go into the scheme fit. Bring up that run stuff or stuff. So he gets plus one block shot, plus one strength. Bring him up to 80. Block shutting. 78 strength. Nice. Alright, starting the game off on defense. They have Nick Foles at QB. What is this? Nick Foles is the quarterback. Oh, and I just missed the pick. Oh, it's a fumble! And Montreal picks it up or deeps itself for not getting the pick. 
Foles is their quarterback, man. I love how Madden just doesn't take a, a cent into history when signing people. It's just the funniest thing. First down, though. We got a nice gap. Tyron Massey trying to get a stiff arm. Not going to be able to. What a nice gain. I'm going to try and throw one of these drag routes. Got X. Mendoza. Nice catch in the first down. I'm going to go with the no huddle action, actually. And I'm going to bench switch play here. I'm going to hit Bo Scarborough on it. We can hike the ball. Let's see what we got here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try Mendoza. What? Madden is being fucking ass right now. So I'm just going to fucking blitz the entire time. So I'm done. I'm at it. It's pissing me off. And they're literally going to feel my wrath. And of course, he's going to run for a touchdown. Hey, hey, hey. And Noah Spence getting a sack. Let's go. Like, I get I adjusted the sliders and everything so that it was supposed to be a little difficult, but like, it's just been bullshit in this episode. Just bullshit after bullshit. Chris Godwin's going to get us first. I might have Johnny Smith deep here. Keep an extra back around the field. And we got RB wide fucking open. OJ Howard trucking that bad motherfucker. Second and two. Mendoza on the slant. He's a killer on that with that 98 short route running. First and goal, and Tyra Mass is going to get in there. Let's go. First and ten. Oh, Gronk with a nice move, and he's still going. Oh my god, did someone fucking tackle him? Jesus Christ. Third and inches to start the second quarter. We got it locked up. I think Nicholas Bags getting there just in time. Look at this ref. Oh, it's a fake! And Carlton Davis stopping it. Second and ten. And play action. And throw it to press. What was that? This is what I'm talking about. You just keep finding ways to just fuck me in the ass, man. Let's see what I can do on third down here. OJ Howard. Hey, he hangs on. Thank you. House. Got extra blocker on. Let's see what you get here. All these slants. Preston. Nice catch. Third and four. OJ Howard. This is his game, dude. No huddle action. No huddle action. You know what it's called? I don't know what this I was gonna call the same play. It's probably the best idea. Let's see how this play goes. Preston! Ah, I threw that way too late. Oh! He almost came down with it. Third and seven. If I don't have it, throw it away because we're trying to get some points, make it a two possession game. Let's see what we got here. Oh, Chris Goblin, quick. Getting it to the two. We have the toss play a try. See if that works. Bo gets the block, and the rookie's in. All right, a minute and nine to get in field goal range. And I think we can do it. Three timeouts as well. Let's do it. First and ten. Oh, my God. He's wide open. Great throw by Jeffrey Ernster. We only needed one play. Only needed one play. Seconds left. They're just outside field goal range. Let's see what they call here. Right down the middle, Nicholas Beggs with the pick, and he trips on his teammate. We got another chance for points. Mendoza, he has a step. I don't know how he has a step. He catches it, and he's in. The man has 85 speed. He's outrunning Stefan Gilmore. Sacked by Tavon Young on the corner blitz. I very rarely call those, and it works. Third and ten. We call Blitz. Gronk with an incredible catch. God oh, damn. Third and fifteen. It's gonna be play action play. We got it covered up, and we're gonna get a sack with Olivier Vernon and Noah Spence. What the fuck is up with this formation? What the hell? Look at them. There's four of them over there. Veltung is ISO'd, and he has the speed. So why would I not do this? Why would I not? Great catch. Nice catch, Mendoza, on the low pass. See, so we get one more playoff before the end of the quarter here. 
We got a first basically goal. Uh, I gotta be quick here with this decision. Let's go science again. Let's see if I can hike it. Quarter ends. Thank you. Let's see if I can throw it to Mendoza again. And he's a yard short. It's first and goal here. And Mendoza finishing the drive. Great job. Okay, this is another example of how trash matter is. Let's let's take a second to look at this. So I call a run play, right? I call a run play, and okay, I got everything clogged up here. This linebacker would crash this hole, so I can't run through here. This linebacker is gonna crash the hole too, so I'm not gonna be able to run up the middle. So what I do, I go to bend it to the outside, and look at what my fucking wide receiver does. Wait, where's he going? Where are you going? Where are you going? There's a guy straight in front of you. There's a guy straight in front of you. What are you doing? Where are you going? First, he's going to the right to go block the safety. I get that. Then he runs left to go block the corner. Then he's like, oh, maybe I'll go block the safety again. There's no point of blocking the safety because I'm not going to gain a fucking yard. Final score of this game, convincingly winning 38-14. But just fucking bullshit in the game again. Skill points this time around. Merrill Bogle getting one. Gonna go into the scheme fit category. Bring it up to an 80. Let's see what he gets here. Plus one press, zone coverage, block sheds, pursuit. I actually like that he got plus two zone. And I spent it into run support. Because that is that is awesome. He went up more in zone than he did run support there. I guess that makes sense. Uh rookie running back getting one. We'll put that into elusive. So that's what he is. It's an elusive guy. Plus one juke, plus one spin. What's he got now? He did not spin, 82 juke. Okay. Relevant. We will uh, see if we can spend some money here on our big guys here. So, Vita Vey. 64 over 5 years. That's a reasonable offer. We'll throw that on the table. That's a good offer. There we go. Vita Vey on the team. Not bad. And Carlton Davis, we're going to let go. Um, can't offer our punter yet. And again, I'm going to wait to see what Gerald McCoy regresses down to. And if it's reasonable enough, we'll offer him. If not, we'll let him go. Everyone else, I don't think I want to resign for the season, so I think we're going to let them all go. And the punter is pretty good, so we'll get the punter. Wow, this guy's really good. PJ Gatewood. A minus trucking, B plus carrying, B plus break tackle. Goddamn. Too bad he's not over on the draft. Probably not going to be able to get him. Fisherman also looks really good. <laughs> the fuck kind of name is Fisherman? <laughs> and oh, another A minus hit power guy. If you if you have linebackers with A minus hit power, then you gotta take them. And Curtis Merritt, last but not least, doesn't really look that good in my opinion. Wow, so these three right here look really freaking good. But I highly doubt we're gonna get any of them unless we trade up, which we we'll probably have to sacrifice both first, both seconds, and trade in the first. In order to get that. So, PJ Gatewood has a really good combine. I might get him, in all honesty. A minus trucking means at least 87. That's pretty freaking good. If he has good speed, we'll definitely go for him. If he has like four or five speed, we'll get him. So, guys, it's gonna end this episode. Next week, we got two division mashups. So, for next episode, we got two division mashups. So, guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe to all the crazy stuff down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.